What's going on guys? This is Ferox. Today I'm just going to do a little tutorial. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me because I know when I first started out, I didn't know how to do this myself. And I th it's it's really um, it's really useful to know this, especially if you don't know it already. There is a few tutorials out there, but I just figured I'd put, a, put out one too. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're, go we're going to... Um, learn how to save our our backgrounds in Photoshop so they fit on YouTube and this is also how to get them the highest quality not just for YouTube basically just for anything so let's let's get out our, our background actually have one over here um, let's get out the phase background I did um, yeah this is the one they didn't use <laughs> but whatever so here's our background right now now you want to go up to file and not, a lot of people don't know how to do this they're this is this just how to save it so it fits on YouTube so the file size isn't too large you want to go file save for web and devices and when you do this yeah we will take a while to load and see how right here I don't know if you guys can see this but it says PNG 24 that's the file type you want to save it as. What, see when you put preset up here, you want to go PNG 24. That is, that will get you the highest quality. But um, see how it says 928.6K. You want that to be under 1,000K. If it's over 1,000K, it won't work. Um, if it is like right on the dot, I'm not too sure. But try to get it under. And if it's not under your background, um. I know YouTube says, oh, it has to be only 256K. I think that's a lie because this has always, this has worked for me since when I started graphic design. So what you want to do, let's see, see how we have like these space images right here. Some things you could just get rid of them completely because a lot of things take up a lot more space. Like see these space stocks. What you want to do is lower the fill or the opacity and that will... Uh, make the file size smaller right but if you don't want to do that then you can obviously take out take away stuff yes I know it's you have to kind of play with it hopefully once you get used to it your backgrounds will always be under 1000 K like mine that barely half ever happens to me but sometimes you can just tell by how much stuff you have on it you know what I mean um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial uh, post post below uh, what you guys want to see from me and be sure to like the video because it uh, makes me it tells me that you guys like my videos you know what I mean because I, w I want I want some feedback I want to know you guys are watching and liking my videos it doesn't take too long to like the video so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later